This app takes a page that you want to outrank and it does a whole bunch of analysis and optimization to help you create a competing page to outrank it. To use it, you just need target keywords and a URL to scrape. For example, let's say we're looking at how to start a 3D printing business and we find a page that's ranking quite well for the term. I just need to grab the URL there, paste that in, and then I'm going to grab my target keyword. You can enter more than one like this and just comma separate it. Then I'm going to run the app. When I run it, it's going to start a ton of automations like retrieving knowledge, getting information from perplexity, scraping the page, and much more. It takes about four minutes to create the page. So let's take a quick look at the output here, how to start a 3D printing business. Pulls in some statistics like it, the market is expected to reach 55 billion by 2027. That comes from the perplexity research. Then we've got types of 3D printing businesses with examples, and then a breakdown of costs for starting a 3D printing business, a breakdown of the materials and costs of the materials, strategies for standing out and starting your business, a case study of a company that successfully launched a 3D printing business, legal considerations, marketing strategies, a recap, FAQs, so it created all of this without actually specifying the exact structure and layout because it got that from the competing page. If you look at the number one ranking page, you can tell that our document is longer, more comprehensive, and provides more details than the top one ranking page. And all I had to do was put in a keyword and a URL. For this workflow, I'm using a tool called Moonlit Platform. It's a no-code drag and drop AI builder, so it makes it really easy to create automated workflows like this. I'll also share the link to this app so you can try it out yourself, but here's the rest of the steps. So step one is it's going to scrape the web page, then it's going to retrieve knowledge. So this app uses a knowledge base, and typically I'll have an entire website scraped or entire sections of a website added to the knowledge base so it knows everything about the brand and products and services that the company offers. So it also retrieves brand knowledge and then these are perplexity models that pull statistics, quotes, and up-to-date information from the web about the topic that I'm working on. Next up it's going to do a page analysis. You can see that the prompts are in here within every little model. So it's doing a full page analysis and it's using the new Gemini 2 Flash to do that. This also does an entity analysis of the competitor page. And that's one of the ways that it is able to create SEO optimized text because it's pulling all of the entities. That's a little more complicated than that, but it's the entity analysis straight out of Google. So it's just an integration. If you played around with the Google Natural Language API demo, it's this thing right here. So it's built right in and it extracts the entities of the text and then it feeds that to the chat models to optimize the text. Step three, it'll write the first draft again with a very detailed prompt and it pulls in all of the variables that we provide it. Step four, it does an EEAT analysis, which reviews the first draft and provides recommendations on how to improve it. And it's also going to create a wireframe of the page layout. Then step five is EEAT revisions. So it'll actually revise the page based on the analysis. And then it spits it all out into the outputs. Now let's say you actually want to get the page made. We have design and developer instructions. So these are the exact instructions that you could pass along to a designer or developer to get this page set up. And it even creates a wireframe preview, which gives you a little breakdown of how the structure of the page should look. So we got our sections, infographic, where to put the images, buttons, call to action, all that fun stuff. It's kind of a terrible wireframe, but you get the idea. So I'll share the link to this and you can try it out and generate some pages. I definitely recommend you still have a human edit these pages before you publish them. Have someone revise them, add internal links, put some thought into it. Have someone who knows things about 3D printing actually review the page and make the edits. That might be you, that might be a freelancer that you're working with. But definitely don't just generate and publish. So there is a ton of stuff going on in the back end and hardly any work to do just putting in a keyword and a URL. It's got my 12 years of SEO knowledge baked into the prompts. So you can make a copy of it and you can tweak the prompts to your liking to fine tune them for your specific brand. 
You can also set up a knowledge base here and load it with documents, or you can even scrape your sitemap. So I can go import from sitemap here, and I can just enter the sitemap of my website and run it, and it'll import everything in there. It's got some filters too, so if you only want blog or something, you can do that. Or you can avoid certain things, like maybe you have a bunch of listings that you don't want to scrape on your site. You can choose whether or not you want to skip images, but setting it up on your end and adding a knowledge base makes the content even smarter, and it'll pull in facts about your brand, your contact information, services you offer, things like that. Then you can even set up a bulk run and run that same app multiple times for different pages and generate a chunk of highly optimized pages with the click of a few buttons. It is getting easier and easier to make awesome content with AI and automation. But again, you should still have a real human review this stuff before publishing it. If you check the design and developer recommendations at the very bottom, there's also additional SEO recommendations that you might want to follow, like meta tags, header tags, schema markup. Depends on the page you're running, but it'll be in there. Also, a relatively new feature of Moonlit is you can actually just open up the document and you can edit it live right in the output and then save it. You can add your links and make quick adjustments, which might save you a ton of time instead of having to move it into a Google Doc or something. So that's the SEO page perfecter. I'll share the link for it so that you can try it out. Then if you want more cool tools and guides, you can join the AI SEO Academy. It's free to join and I have over 40 Moonlit tools that I've built in there. I've also got Python scripts and web apps and GPTs, Notion templates, podcasts, live recordings, and beginner guides. And you can join a growing community of SEO people who like to build stuff with AI. It's free to join and it's on school, so I'll share the link to that as well.